In this video, I'd like to show you how you can automatically transcribe your audio or video files using the speech to text feature that is in the recently updated Corel Video Studio Ultimate 2022. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, these are my thoughts and basically let's begin. So this is Corel Video Studio Ultimate and I'll begin by adding a video. So I can just right click on this section, insert media and navigate to the folder with the video or the audio files I want to import inside Corel. So just click on this, uh, open, and this is our video. It's going to be previewing here, uh, but let's just drag and drop it here to the video timeline here. And this is the first track. Uh, we want it there. Once your video or your audio is in this particular track, let's just deselect that. For you to use the speech to text feature, you need to first of all select the video or the audio that you want to uh, apply the speech to text feature. Once you click on that, then navigate to this section. You'll see uh, a speech to text tool available. Once you click on it, you'll get speech to text, specify the source language, English, German, French, simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, Italian, Dutch, Japanese. And then you have the option to add the subtitles to the timeline. That is this particular timeline once uh, the video is automatically transcribed you can do that or you can select the option to uh, go to the subtitle editor so that you can make changes if you want to i'd recommend you go to the subtitle editor because you may need to uh, make some changes uh, because as it is it's automatic transcription and subtitling it's not perfect you may need to correct some uh, text and all that so let's just click on start and once we begin it's in transcribing you can wait for a while this is a short video, a three minute video, probably takes less than a minute or even less than 30 seconds to automatically transcribe uh, inside Corel Video Studio. So depending on the length of your file, it may take a long or a short time. Uh, you just need to test it out and see if it works for you. So there we go. It's automatically transcribing and populating. There we have it. So uh, the transcript is available and uh, at the moment, it's uh, already uh, inside or just the time or the time codes have been automatically appended depending on the wave level. So if I just click on this, uh, inside this particular uh, transcript or uh, the subtitle version, you can make changes and you'll see the mouse flickering. So if I click there, we can just capitalize W with a relevant, uh, I believe, updates on the YouTube interface, capitalize YouTube. So that's uh, like the first line and you can click on it and play using this and you'll only listen to this one line. Just click on that. With the recent update on the YouTube interface. So on the YouTube interface, that looks good. It's not updates, it's update. So that looks good. It's the first line, uh, looks pretty good. And just by looking at it, it's done a pretty decent job. The only issue is there's no capitalization, there's no punctuation, therefore it falls short of that. So you can see, you'll see the preview of what the subtitles will look like and you can just click on them and you'll notice that they are somehow uh, bold and all that. But before we get to the changing of the font and all that, you'll see the speech to text tool here. And if you uh, choose the wrong language, you can always change and then uh, just uh, scan again and then there's an option for voice detection voice recording quality sensitivity you can actually set these options now to this top end you can play a selected subtitle segment you can also add a new subtitle delete and when uh, you click on two subtitle lines uh, let me just press on control and click and once you do this you'll notice that this particular icon is now enabled it's the join subtitles and then there's the option to time offset the subtitles. You can also import a subtitle if you already have a subtitle for this particular uh, video. And then you can actually export the subtitle as an SRT. If you click on that, you can do that. Or also uh, um, a movie subtitle file, lyrics file, etc. So uh, that's just the basics. And then we now have the option to the end here for the text options. So let's just click on that to universally change the subtitle options for this. So we have Arial, 
our font size 30 and it's bolded we can undo the bold and then let's see uh, gluing shadow leading line 100 alignment that's okay uh, the orientation is uh, you can see it looks uh, it's uh, from left to right but you can also do this and it's uh, on the other side but this is just the standard subtitle uh, orientation and then we can see uh, the alignment and the placement of uh, the subtitles if you place them there they go up there down here to the bottom right but this is uh, probably the uh, the base so uh, let's say we reduce the font size to about 28 and then click OK once you do that the changes happen in real time uh, you no longer have the bolding and all that once you're satisfied with your changes and I've not made any changes uh, just this first line because it might take uh, a couple of minutes here uh, you can click OK and once you click OK you'll get the notification inserting so many titles may clear the undo stroke redo functions do you want to continue OK or cancel my recommendation is that let the addition of the subtitles be the last thing so that once you add them you can easily burn them to the video or just export them and to avoid making any further alterations to your editing so just click ok and uh, your subtitles will be imported and they correspond to the timeline uh, where they're set so we can actually go back to the start and then we can just play with the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download. If you actually just pause that, you'll see that whatever we have uh, is what is being said. Just minor changes and all that. So the speech to text tool uh, is pretty awesome. And if you want to go uh, back to the, uh, the option to the subtitle editor, you can just right click on one subtitle block here and then click on uh, edit in subtitle editor. So. Uh, something else uh, you can just click that uh, edit in subtitle editor but I'd like to show you something else so this is what it looks like and it auto populates again not sure why it does that uh, okay also it, I don't understand why it, ha it has to do that again but if you actually just click on this one subtitle and it seems like it bolded the subtitles it undid the changes so that's a downside for this uh, let's see if you just uh, double click on this just one subtitle you'll get the option uh, to set the title options for this so they're calling them titles inside here so you can come in here uh, it actually changed the font uh, change the font for individual blocks of subtitles let's say 28 change the font to Arial narrow so you see what it looks like and then you can undo the bold and then let's go to something like a backdrop let's say we need a solid uh, and then fit with text and then you can change uh, the if, if you want an ellipse a rectangle a curved edge a rounded rectangle whatever you want and then you can do some transparency here but it looks good uh, let's go with something like 15 uh, one five okay let's just use this 12 i think that looks okay so uh that i believe that looks okay yeah, it's a solid okay it's a solid uh, let's go with this yeah that looks better but i feel that it looks good uh, you can do a couple of different things uh, the effects and all that uh, styles uh, for the different uh, subtitles that you have and you can make those changes uh, individually for each individual subtitle that you're working on now once you're out of the subtitle editor so that's just the basic that's the overview of this new speech to text feature in Corel Video Studio Ultimate I hope that you're going to try it out and see how it works for you uh, and hopefully it's something that you're going to use and like so thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it's of value to you. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.